Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. In the last lecture, I have discussed about numerical integration based on trapezoidal rule. So, this lecture I will just continue this error approximation for this uh, trapezoidal rule here. So, in the trapezoidal rule, if you will just uh, go for this error calculation, then we can just uh, write this error as in the form of like as I have told you that uh, if you will have like uh, two points only that is B and A and we will have a single interval there, then we usually we are just expressing this uh, error term as in the form like uh, R of f x, this should be less or equal to B minus A whole Q by 12 f double dash of uh, x absolute values that is a maximum of x lies between a to b here. We have just considered this positive value since we have just uh, taken here absolute value in the left hand side here. So, if you just go for uh, uh, this uh, expression for a composite formula, this is for like a single formula if you just consider this formula in the form of uh, a to b f of x and dx and h is a suppose only one interval we are just using, then we are just uh, using this formula that is in the form of b minus a by 2 f of a plus f of b there. But in a composite form, if we are just uh, expressing this formula, then n intervals if this uh, interval a b is a subdivided a to b x 0 x 1 to x n here, each is of uh, like equal spacings these points are situated. So, usually we are just defining this uh, x n minus x 0 by n this as h, we are just defining this one. So, that is why we will have this intervals like x 0 to x 1 f of x dx plus x 1 to x 2 f of x dx plus up to x n minus 1 to x n f of x dx here. And then this uh, formula is uh, directly can be written as h by 2 f of uh, x 0 plus f of x n plus 2 into f of x 1 to f of x n minus 1. So, in each of these intervals if you will just see here, we will have a error term, we will have a error term, we will have a error term. Since whenever we are just approximating this uh, uh, core bounded area there, so each of this region that is approximated by a trapezium there. So, that is why in each of this trapezium, we will have a error section either in the lower side or in the upper side. So, that is why if you will just consider this uh, total area for this composite formula here, that can be written as R of f of x, this equals to obviously this formula is written in the form of minus h cube by 12 and each of this error like a first term, if you will just uh, the error is f double dash zeta, second we will have this error like zeta 1 f double dash of zeta 2 up to the last section we can just uh, this write this area error as uh, f double dash of uh, zeta n suppose, where we can just write this zeta i is the error which is lying between x i minus 1 to x i here, i equals to like 1 to up to n there. So, if you will just go for this uh, error bound, then we can just write r of f of x it should be less or equal to h cube by 12 and if you will just find a maximized term or the maximized error term from this one or we can just consider each terms of the error are of equal value or we can just consider this maximized error term there itself, then we can just take the total sum as n here into f double dash of uh, x here which can take a positive value here. Since we are just taking the absolute value on the left hand side, so we can just take this absolute value 
that has uh, f double dash of x here also, where x should be lies between a to b here that can be taken as the maximized value of f double dash x within that range here. So, we can just write that one as a maximum of uh, x which should lies between a and b and can be taken by the second order derivative there. And in a complete form, if you will just write this formula, this can be written as n h q by 2 L maximum of uh, f double dash of x, where x would be lies between a to b here. And sometimes also if you will just replace n h equals to b minus a, then you can just uh, replace this formula that is h square into b minus a by 12 into maximum of f double s of x there. So, that I have just written here also that is n h q n h equals to b minus a. So, that is why this can be written as b minus a whole q by 12 n square also sometimes we can just write and maximum of f double s x. And this above expression shows that the increment of number of intervals gives less error if you will just see. In comparison to the earlier one if you will just see total interval if you will just take a single step of composite rule then we will have a larger error. If you will just subdivide each of the sections then we can have a less error there itself. Since in each of these intervals if you will just see this error will be reduced to there and that is why we can just use this composite formula to get a better result. In geometrical interpretation if you will just see here in each section if you will just see this error is getting reduced here, but a total section if you will just see this error is very large compared to this uh, lower graph here. That is n number of trapezoidms with width h uh, with ordinates f x i minus 1 and f of x i if you will just consider in a geometrical way then the sum of approximation of the area for this curve y equals to f of x above the x axis and ordinates x equals to a and b gives you the maximized aerial cross section under this curve there. Then if you suppose a question is asked like evaluate uh, integration i equals to 1 to 2 1 by 5 plus 3 x into dx with 4 sub intervals using trapezoid rule and compare with exact integral and find the absolute error and find the bound for the error. If you will just see here your a is given as at 1 here and b is a 2 here 4 sub interval means n equals to 4 here. So, this integration is given as i equals to 1 to 2. 1 by 5 plus 3 x dx here with 4 sub intervals. This means that with n equals to 4 here. And if n equals to 4 here, so then we can just define h equals to b minus a by n here. So, that is 2 minus 1 divided by 4 that is uh, 0.25 here. And if we have just defined h equals to 0.25 here, the nodal points it is a starting from 1, 1.25, then 1.5, then 1.75, then last point is 2 here. And corresponding f values you can just uh, define that one as like f of x is given as uh, here 1 by 5 plus 3 x here corresponding values for uh, x equals to 1 we can just get f of x as uh, 0.125 for 1.25 we can just get uh, 0 0.11429 1.5 we can just get 0 0.10526 0 0.09 756 and 0 0.09091. Now, we will just go for this integration. So, this trapezoid integration i t can be written as h by 2. So, we can just write 0 0.25 by 2 f of x 0, x 0 is given as a 1 here and x n is a 2 here. So, f of x 0 it is written as 0 0.125 plus 2 into 0 0.11429 plus 0 0.10526 plus 0 0.09756 plus 0 0.11429 plus 0 0.10526 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 
plus 0.09091. So, this will just give the values as a 0.10627 and exact value of this integration if you just go for this computation we can just get 1 by 3 into ln of 5 plus 3 x if you just see and uh, if you just put this range 1 to 2 here we can just uh, obtain that one, that one as a 0 0.10615 and the absolute values that is i exact minus uh, i t here in absolute form if you just write 0 0.10615 minus 0 0.10627 this is a 0 0.00012 it is very less here and if you just go for this bound of this error so absolute values if you just consider that can be written as a error should be less or equal to b minus a h square by 12 maximum of f double dash x if you just go for this error term here so this error can be written as a, this should be less or equal to b minus a h square by 12 maximum of uh, f double dash of x x should be lies between 1 and 2 here and if you just uh, calculate this f double dash of x we can just uh, say this one as this equals to 1 sorry 2 minus 1 into h square is a 0 0.25 square here by 12 and f double dash x if you just compute that will just give you 18 by 5 plus 3 x whole q here and uh, this would be maximum value where x would be lies between 1 and 2 here. So, if you just see here this function will achieve this maximum value whenever x equals to 1 there itself. So, if x equals to 1 there then it will be 8 to the power 3 there and its value is like 5 1 2 there. So, that is why we can just write this maximum value as 2 minus 1 is 1 here into 0 0.25 square by 12 into 18 by 512. This will just give you this uh, maximum error term for this composite trapezoidal rule that is just coming as a triple zero point triple zero one eight here. So, then we will just go for uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here. So, whenever we will calculate this area of this curve bounded by this x axis and if this area is approximated by this uh, uh, parabola here then we can just obtain this uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here. Especially we are just dividing this interval like in the earlier case we have just divided into two points there only single interval we have just considered here we will just subdivide this interval into two parts here considering this middle part part as a plus b by 2 there. So, if you just uh, like divide any interval like a to b here like two intervals two sub intervals here then we can just write this midpoint as a, a plus b by 2 and we will have three points like a f of a and uh, like a plus b by 2 f of a plus b by 2 and then the third point b f of b here and we can just write the space size a is equals to b minus a by 2 here with x 0 equals to suppose a there x 1 as a, a plus b by 2 and uh, x 2 equals to b there. So, if you just uh, see in this uh, slide here you can just uh, find that this parabolic section this is just approximating this aerial cross section that is bounded by this x axis and the curve there. So, if you just consider this points like x 0 and f of x 0 is the first point and x 2 f of x 2 is the last point here then the middle point is denoted as x 1 f of x 1 here. So, this means that we are just approximating the th three points of this curve y equals to f of x by a uh, parabola joining this uh, points p q r there and uh, this parabola is approximated uh, with this curve is of degree 2 there. So, if this is approximated by a polynomial of degree 2 then we can just use Newton's uh, forward difference formula for a quadratic polynomial by considering these points x0 f of x0, x1 f of x1 and x2 f of x2. If you will just write this Newton's forward difference formula for a degree 2. So, f of x can be written as f of x0 
plus p delta of f of x 0 plus p into p minus 1 by factorial 2 del square of f of x 0 here. Since this function is approximated by a polynomial of a degree 2, the higher power so will just give you the 0 values there. So, in terms of x if you will just write since we have here 3 points like a x 0 equals to a, x 1 equals to a plus b by 2 and x 2 equals to b here. If you will just rewrite this formula here then this can be written as f of x equals to f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 by h delta f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 by h x minus x 1 by h 1 by 2 factorial del square f of x 0. And if you just use uh, this integration like a to b f of x dx here for a Newton's quadrature formula a to b f of x dx this can be written as x 0 to x 2 f of x 0 dx plus x 0 to x 2 x minus x 0 by h f of x 0 minus sorry this is a f of x 1 minus f of x 0 into d x plus x 0 to x 2 x minus x 0 x minus x 1 divided by 2 h square del square of uh, f of x 0 into d x here. So, first point if you will just uh, integrate then you can just get x 2 minus x 0 f of x 0 here. Second point if you will just integrate here x minus x 0 whole square by factorial 2 h will come out. So, f of x 1 minus f of x 0. So, that is why it can be cancelled it out like uh, x 2 minus x 0 if you will just take that will just give you 2 h there. Since we are just approximating here x 0, x 1, x 2 here. So, each is of space h here equispaced points we are just considering. So, that is why we can just write x 1 equals to x 0 plus h and x 2 is x 0 plus 2 h here. So, if you will just uh, integrate then in the final form if you will just put all these uh, values here that we have just uh, derived here that is uh, x 2 equals to x 0 plus 2 h x 1 equals to x 0 plus h here we can just obtain that one as h by 3 f of x 0 plus 4 f of x 1 plus f of x 2. So, just a simplification if you will just do then you can just obtain this formula and directly also we can just write since h is expressed here that is as b minus a by 2. Since if you will just see here h is nothing but b minus a by 2 here since n is 2 here. So, that is why we can just write h by 6 or sorry this is as a b minus a by 6 f of a plus 4 f of a plus b by 2 plus f of b here. In terms of a and b if we want to write this formula, so this can be represented in this form here. This is called 1 by 3 Simpson's rule. And if you just go for this error calculation of this Simpson's rule, we have to consider that this function is exact for polynomials of degree 0, 1 and 2 there. This means that it can just provide us the exact value. This means that this integration minus this uh, formulated value whatever this formula we have derived here, this difference will be 0 for 1 x and x square. This gives the exact polynomial of a degree less or equal to 3 here. So, for uh, degree 4 we can just get exactly this error term for this function here. If you will just put here f of x equals to 1 for this error approximation that I can just uh, see that r of f of x equals to 0 like our earlier calculation if you will just see. For f of x equals to 1 if you will just put a to b 1 into d x here that is if for f of x equals to 1 if you will just write this error term here r of f of x this can be written as like a to b 1 into d x 
minus your formula that is as a b minus a by 6. So, f of a plus uh, 4 f of a plus b by 2 plus f of b. Then if you will just write this one that is 1 plus 4 plus 1 here, this will just give you 0 value. Similarly, if you will just consider here f of x equals to x suppose, r of f of x can be written as a to b x dx minus b minus a by 6. So, first term if you will just write here as a plus 4 a plus b by 2 plus b here. So, this will just obviously gives you also a 0 value. Similarly, if you will just consider f of x equals to x square, this can also be written as r of f of x here a to b x square dx minus b minus a by 6 a square plus 4 a plus b by 2 whole square plus b square here. This will also give you 0 value here. If you will just consider like a f of x equals to x sq since a directly if you will just put like a the polynomials of a degree or 3 x is less or equal to 3 here exactly 3 should be the error term here. But especially for degree 3, we are just getting 0, to, 0 value here. So, that is why we have just, just to consider the immediate next term for this error here that is f of x equals to x to the power 4. If you will just put here f of x equals to x to the power 4 here, that can be written as c equals to, if you will just see here f of x to x is q, r of f of x equals to 0 here and for f of x equals to x to the power 4 we can just compute c term here. So, that is a, a to b x to the power 4 dx minus that is a b minus a by 6 here and uh, your terms a to the power 4 plus 4 into a plus b by 2 whole to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 here. And if you will just uh, like do some simplifications we can just obtain this value as minus of b minus a whole to the power 5 by 120. So, then the total error term we can just write r equals to or r of f x equals to c by n plus 1 factorial here especially if you will just see or p plus 1. So, c by 3 is your uh, highest uh, p term since we are just getting for degree 3 also we are just getting the exact polynomial function which is approximated with this a f of x value. So, that is why you can just consider a p as 3 here c c by p plus 1. So, that is why 4 factorial here. So, f to the power 4 zeta value here where zeta should be lies between a to b there. So, that is why we can just write if you will just put here that as minus of b minus a whole to the power 5 by 120 into 4 factorial f to the power 4 of zeta here. And uh, this total term that is just giving you here minus h to the power 5 by 90 f to the power 4 of zeta. <coughs> the bound for this error if you will just go for the positive values here like modulus of uh, r of f of x, this can be written as less or equal to b minus a whole to the power 5 by the total product that is just uh, coming as uh, 2880 into maximum of f to the power 4 x where x would be lies between a to b here. Since Simpson's 1 by 3 rule gives us the exact result for polynomials of degree less or equal to 3, the method is said to be of uh, order 3 here. That is why it is called uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here. So, as in the case of trapezoidal rule, if the length of the interval a b is large, then we can just find that b minus a is also large. So, the error term in expression 5 is also large. And in this case, the interval a b is a subdivided into number of sub intervals of equal length and we simply apply Simpson's 1 by 3 rule for each of these intervals to or the sub intervals to evaluate this uh, integration and it is basically called the composite Simpson's rule here. 
basically in trapezoid rule we are sorry this in some trapezoid rule we have just considered a single interval there and if you just go for this like uh, your uh, 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here, we have just considered two sub intervals there. So, that is why from both these methods, if you will just compare like trapezoid rule and 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here, then we can just visualize this error will be less in comparison to trapezoid rule is larger compared to the Simpson 1 by 3 Simpson's rule here. This means if you will just use 1 by 3 Simpson's rule, we can just obtain this results maybe around 6 steps then it requires near about 12 steps to get this result for this uh, trapezoid rule there. So, the conclusion is that whenever we are just uh, subdividing this uh, domains into number of uh, intervals, then we are just uh, getting this results in more accurate form compared to the less number of uh, division of the intervals. So, in trapezoid rule, if you just see, we have just used n equals to 1 and if we are just ex extending that word to n equals to 2 there, then this error is just getting reduced in the advanced form there. So, that is why it is always uh, uh, impressive to choose this uh, space sizes as larger to get this uh, less error there. Thank you for listening this lecture.